guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a mommy YouTuber based in Port Nigeria. So you guys, I have a different background today because I'm in my room and I just wanted to chat with you guys while I arrange some stuff because we are traveling this weekend. I and my kids are traveling this weekend to an island close to Port Harcourt and we're traveling by boat. So I'm quickly packing um, their stuff and my stuff because we're traveling today actually this afternoon and yeah, I'm not sure when this video is going to come out but if that one comes out before this then please go and watch it if you don't watch it already, okay? Because I'm actually going to vlog about my journey. Alright, so um, yesterday or so I came across a video from Stephanie Adekoka. Yeah, Stephanie Adekoka. To be honest, I don't really know her that much. I don't really follow Nigerian celebrities. I don't follow celebrities like that but you know, uh, for her, I'm not really sure who she is i think she's a tv presenter or something anyway so she did a video where the title of the video is african and pregnant okay so first of all someone sent me her post on instagram where she said um let me even just look for that post instead of just blabbing <laughs> okay, yeah so in the post she said my name is stephanie koka adarian kum <laughs> sorry if i ordered that adarian kum i am a jet set mom wife tv host entrepreneur and i conceived through ivf who are you you guys when i saw this post i was just like yes sis, yeah <laughs> thank you so much and why i'm saying this is because so many people do not like to admit that they went through either ivf or they did not conceive through you know natural methods i don't know why people are so ashamed of I, well i kind of know why let me not i don't know why because people get shamed for such things but i feel like Especially once you are out there, once you have a big platform, once you know people look up to you and all that, you should actually come out straight and see some of these things because you are going to be helping a whole lot of people, okay? You're going to be helping so many women. You guys, since, since I've known myself, since I've been going to church, I have not seen anybody who came and gave testimony that... I've been battling infertility for the past 15 years and then I did IVF and the IVF work. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I have not seen anybody like that. They'll just come and tell you I battled infertility for the past 15 years. I fasted, I prayed, and God did it for me. I'm not saying that God did not do it for you. God, yes, it's actually God that did it for you. Whether it is true IVF or it's true natural conception or whatever it is, it is actually God that did it for you because if God says it's not going to happen, it is not going to happen, even if you have the best doctors in the world with the best, you know, scientific breakthroughs in the world. If it's not going to happen for you it is not going to happen for you except god allows it or except god wills it or except god you know steps in to make it happen for you okay so i'm not saying that it's not god that 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 did it for you but why can't we say god did it for me through ivf why don't we just come out and say this is because there's so many women out there who don't even consider ivf because of the stigma attached to it because they don't want people to look down on them they don't want people to think that they are they are uh, incapable of having kids or something's wrong with them you know i don't really get I don't really understand it. You guys know, personally, I did not conceive through IVF, okay? But it was an option for me, even though when I was told that I cannot conceive except through IVF, I cried my eyes out because no, that IVF is not easy. It is not easy at all. I had done my research, trust me now. I had done my research and it was, it was, it was going to be an option, but I knew that it wasn't something that I really just wanted to do like that because it's not easy. It's expensive. You go through a lot. Sometimes it fails, okay? So... I did not conceive through IVF, but trust me, if I had conceived through IVF, you guys know me now, judging by what I've been doing on this channel, if I had conceived through IVF, you best believe I am going to come here and tell you guys every freaking thing about the whole process and how everything happened, okay? Because at the end of the day, a baby is still a baby, okay? Whether the child came through IVF or came through natural conception or came through whatever means, as long as the baby is human, the baby is human, okay? When, when you go to school, they don't ask you natural or IVF. They don't ask those kind of questions. So why are people so bothered? Or why do people keep hiding such things, okay? So I really applaud Stephanie for coming out to say it, you know, openly, I conceived through IVF, okay? There is, there is really nothing there. And I'm so happy that she came out to say that. And I'm hoping that more celebrities and more people, I'm trying Nigerian celebrities because I've noticed that foreigners, uh, mostly Americans or American celebrities in general, many of them don't hide these things, okay? The ones that conceived through um, surrogate, the ones that conceived through IVF, the ones that did this and did that, many of them don't hide it. They even use it to cash in, self. You know, they make reality shows about it. They talk about it openly. But 
in Nigeria, everybody is hush, 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 hush. And I've noticed that thing about a lot of Nigerian women, okay? You see somebody who was clearly battling infertility. When you now ask her, ah, sister, what did you do? How did, well, how did it happen? They'll tell you, ah, it's God that did this for me. Oh. Even down to gender selection, okay? The natural ways of choosing gender, I mean, they, they might work. They don't have, they don't work all the time, but most likely they, they might work. The natural methods, they are also artificial or medical methods of actually choosing gender which many people do but nobody will come out and tell you this is what i did to get the girl i've been looking for for the past 10 years nobody will come out and tell you this is what i did to get the boy i've been looking for since i got married so at the end of the day i wish that more africans can come out openly and just talk about this thing. Share Nigerians. Let's talk about this thing. Let's help each other out. You don't know who is dead that doesn't even know where to start from. But because you come out and say this, this is what I did though. Since I did my infertility video, I know I have I have <laughs> I have given number to more than 50 people as in no jokes I have given my doctor's number to more than 50 people I have given recommendations to more than 100 people I have told more than 200 people <laughs> with the drugs that the doctor recommended for me okay even though I advise them that you can't just go and take this drug because I took them or you have to do your research and also talk to your doctor too to be sure that these drugs work but I'm not going to say ah no I can't tell you the drugs or I can't tell you you just have to um, you just have to go and figure it out yourself okay I, I can't do that because you don't know whose whose case is whose case you have the solution to you don't know so people should come out right and come out and talk about these things because we are actually helping each other out by doing it anyway i've already gone off point i actually wanted to analyze the things she talked about in that video if you guys don't know the video i'm talking about i'm going to link the video in the description box so you guys i said i was going to arrange my kids clothes but that's how i've gotten so ginger that i have now forgotten about the clues anyway so one thing i want to talk about again is the fact that ivf is not easy okay i see people say things like uh uh she has been married for five years now why can't she just go and do ivf why is she there disturbing herself ivf is not easy oh number one it is very expensive in 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 uh, stephanie's case she's quite she's obviously rich yes and, and i'm saying she's obviously rich because she said she had to travel to los angeles to los angeles she didn't even travel to one texas or one place <laughs> i don't know if texas is cheaper but she didn't travel to one just one place in the u.s she had to go to l.a just to go and get this ivf done okay but ivf is being done in nigeria okay i think some places you pay like 650k to one point something million for the ivf itself for not including the other cares and drugs and other things that are involved okay so ivf is expensive the ordinary man cannot afford ivf okay that's number one number two ivfs entail a lot a lot you're going to take a lot of injections you're going to do a lot of procedures a lot of check a lot of this a lot of that it takes a lot and it takes a toll on your body it takes a lot a toll on your mind it takes a toll on your relationship if you're not careful you and your husband are going to start having issues because of your your fertility struggles okay and not one thing about infertility infertility is one of the cases where the rich also cry it's not about how much money you have okay the rich also cry when it comes to infertility so whenever you see anybody who has been married for three four five years don't go down that thing i even talk about self before i even i even go to the other ivf talk all of you because she mentioned something like that about people telling her look at you you're just snapping pictures yeah you don't want to get up to go and burn go and burn you're here for me fine girl why do people say such rubbish why like why now first of all each person doesn't want to have kids is it your is it is it by you talking that person now decide oh okay since everybody's saying i should go and have kids let me go and have kids okay and if that's even the case is it the right thing for somebody that doesn't want kids to not go and have kids because of of one stranger on the internet that 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 aside what are women who want to have kids do you think that you want you want her to have kids more than she wants to have kids for herself why are you going there to type rubbish so okay because she's trying to have kids she should not be fine she should not take pictures she should not go she should not travel she should not have fun she should not snap with her husband she should not you know form fine she should not be a fine girl again because she's, she's trying to have kids she should wear ash cloth she should put black black suit on her face and go to the streets and start crying because she's trying to have kids is that what people are trying to say okay all these trolls all people on the internet some things that people go and type just because you are behind the keyboard some things people go and type i don't know how i don't know some of you just disgrace your your family members online <laughs> okay and because some, of, some people actually use their their proper accounts their proper name to type such rubbish you're just there disgracing your village disgracing all your ancestors because you are because you're following celebrities i don't even follow celebrities that much like even the ones i follow i don't i don't actively think of their children or not having children i don't know how to explain it but for instance i've been following adesua etomi for a very long time and each time i see her post her pictures 
all that comes to my head is that oh well, this girl is so hot she's so beautiful like i love her, her dress sense i love the way she looks i love everything about her that's all that comes to my head but when i go to her comment section i'll see things like god will do it for you when will you give birth now hey this one that one, that one. are you sure you're not pregnant i'm just like why what is the point of that i do know there's no Nigerian celebrity that I have been mentally thinking, ah, she has been married for two years now, she's supposed to be. In fact, when I was watching Stephanie's video, because I remember, I think I know when she, she got married. When she said she got married in 2016 or so, I was like, 2016? I thought she got married last year. Like, I thought, I genuinely thought she just got married. Because, in fact, when I saw her video, she talked about um, doing IVF. I was like, ah, now wow, this person did not even want to wait at all. Like, she just wanted to get it done quickly. I didn't even know she was married since 2016. That's how oblivious or uninterested i am about people's marital life or or you know i'm not a womb watcher at all and it's not even because of what i went through i've never been that kind of person that is so invested in another person's life that i will not be be calculating for them they're supposed to have kids supposed to have kids okay so i don't understand is it joblessness that causes well, please can someone explain to me why people go on celebrities pages and be saying things like eh, you, you're, you're supposed to have been pregnant now why are you for me fine girl go and have your child though. go and marry i always say that go and marry very well you will see a celebrity give birth someone else goes to congratulate the celebrity and I'm like i certainly have congrats go and, go and born your own like how does that even make sense so telling her congrats go and marry your own yeah you people are, 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 are there for me fine girl you still have to go and look for husband i'm just like what is wrong with people why are people why are people so st oh, anyway. <sighs> so like i was saying ivf is not easy ivf ivf can fail there's so many cases of people that that tried several cycles of ivf and the team failed there are a lot of things that are involved so many people don't come out to say these things because they don't want you to start feeling sorry for them i was one of those people that I just couldn't come out to see something because I don't want to start feeling sorry for me. I don't want your pity. I don't want your pity party. My mom is, can you help me? If you cannot help me, then you do. And you just shift aside. I don't want your sorry. I don't want anybody to tell me sorry. That was how my own case was. I don't want to tell. If people are telling me, hey, yeah, hey, God will do this for you, it seems to, it used to irritate my ears. Like, don't tell me sorry. Don't pity me. Is it that you're coming to tell me, take this doctor's number, this doctor can do your, can help you? Or you just stay aside, don't come and pity me. I stayed away from so many people because each time I see them, they either had one thing or the other to say, and you know, it all boiled down to oh, you don't have kids, so yeah, you are sorry for you. No, don't sorry for me, sorry for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> don't sorry for me sorry for yourself because i'm sure there are other things in your life that you're supposed to have but you don't have them so sorry for yourself okay now i'm of the opinion that if somebody comes out to not tell you what they are going through and you know tell you pray for me you'll see what i'm going through then it's fine you can talk out talk to them you can tell them sorry you know you can you can do the whole pity party and everything for them you can sympathize with them you know I don't have any problem against that, okay? But when the person does not say anything about it at all, you just come to the person because you are assuming that they are having issues. So, you know, you want to not have them. To me, it is not just right, okay? Let us just all try to mind our business more. Except somebody comes... See, I'm, I'm that kind of person that... Me and you can be best friends. Let me say this thing. Me and you can be best friends. And you'll be going through something. I will not ask you. I will not ask... Except when, you know we've discussed in that direction and hey i can now say okay i'll come and ask i have friends that i know that they've not had kids for a very long time but for me to go and ask them i'm just like how do i there's really no way to ask that it won't be you know that will make person feel bad except you know the details of that person's situation there's really no way to ask that person will not feel bad okay so for me i really don't ask except you come and tell me in fact if you just hint it small like hey i'll take over and start talking about it but when the person is not hinting the person is just living their life the person is just you know looking fine doing big things and having fun i'll knock on there and say oh sister oh all this fun you're having if only you had kids god will do it for you okay what what does that even mean like what what, what does that even mean okay so a lot of these people that you see and you think that they're just they're just living their life they don't even care they care it's just that they don't want to allies weigh them down they don't want to allow it make them go into their shell they don't want to allow it make them be be seen in a pitiable light okay so at the end of the day everybody should just mind their business except people come out rightly and tell you that this is what i'm going through can you pray for me can do i can you help me then you can go ahead and help them okay now my own way of helping people who do not ask me is by opening my youtube channel and talking about these things okay my whole point of actually making this video was just to tell you know anyone that cares to listen that sometimes just because people are not coming out to say some things doesn't mean that they don't feel bad or it's not affecting them it's just that they're trying to forge ahead they're trying to live their lives they're not trying to allow that part of their life whether they're not married or they don't have kids they're not trying to allow it to weigh them down because the people that are not married 
I don't even want to get married. So why should I kill myself because I'm not married? There are people who do not even want to have kids at all. A lot of a lot of things that helped me while I was TTC were things that I read on Baby Center. There are things I read on, you know, try to TTC forums. There are things I read on Naira Land, okay? So I just wish that more Nigerian women can come out openly to talk about our reproductive health, talk about our, you know, struggles, talk about our infertility journeys, talk about our struggles with marital, with, with marriage and boyfriendship and relationships and, you know, just let us talk about these things openly because the more you throw light on these things, the more you know more people get solutions to these things okay the more people understand how these things work the more because some people are ignorant out there that's why they see some people see ivf and think it's, it's one maybe don't know what is even entails they don't even know what ivf is so the more people talk about it the more you see people, people the more you see people who have gone through it the more people will say okay maybe something i can even try out or maybe something that's not even not, not even for me or maybe something that i should think about okay okay anyway let this video not be too long all right she says she's going to release a part two of that um video i think it's a series so the second part is coming soon so if it comes soon and there's something else that i feel like i'm going to share with you guys then i'm going to share but if there's nothing else to share then that would be it about this topic okay so i want to know you guys thoughts in the comment section um what do you guys think about this should more women talk about it or should we keep hushing everything and pretending like all is fine when all is not you know and also can you guys tell me what you guys think about this type of commentary style videos where i react to you know people's videos or people's you know posts and stuff like that do you guys like it if you guys like it then please send me posts to react to send me videos to react to and uh, stuff like that okay then if you don't like it we'll continue what we've always been doing before okay so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please and yeah i'll see you all in my next video bye Mwah.